Webhooks with Tally are really easy to understand and to handle. Here I'm on a coaching session form that I created previously. What I can do is to come back to the dashboard, get back to my form, and I can go to integration. Previously, we saw in an integration video that we can connect to Google Sheet, Notion, and Airtable. But there's also the option here, two options actually that are uh, interesting for us, free option with Zapier. But here we've got Webhooks. So here, if you want to have a custom HTTP endpoint, you can use this webhook integration. So when I click on here, what I got is uh, an, uh, a form that proposed to me to add a webhook endpoint. Okay. So here I could put, for instance, my API. So here I would have HTTPS API dot codewithguillaume.com. Okay. And I could click on connect here. And as we see here, it's immediately available. It's immediately connected. Exactly like with the integration, I could look at the logs by clicking here on, uh, on the events log. If I want to edit it, I can click here again. I'm going to come back. And if I want to delete it, I can click on remove. So what's going to happen is that every time an event is going to happen, it's going to hook. So it's going to send to api.codewithguillaume.com a request by saying, hey, there's an event. Uh, we would like to do something, right? When you go on the documentation of webhooks, you can see exactly why I, what I just explained. And here we've got down there an example about the webhook events, right? So if you have an API and you would like to do some other operation, talk to another API or save this data into a database, you can use this webhook integration that we've got in here. So I'm going to uh, show you a little bit. Let's look at uh, what the call is going to answer to us. It's going to send us the data, the date, the event type. So a form response, for instance. And we've got an event ID, which is a UUID. So it's going to be a post and it's going to use the content type applica application uh, slash JSON. And here we've got the answer with the type and the value. So here we see that we've got the value that is type and this value, of course, you can reuse them. All right, so that was a good example. There we go. But me, I would like to do something that is real. What I would like to do is probably connect uh, tally to make. So I'm going to click on connect in here. And here I arrive on make and there's a page called tally integration. And as I can see, I can connect to make Tally. And from Tally, look, I could do a lot of things. Go to Google Sheets, Gmail, Airtable, Slack, Telegram bot. All right. So I want to build an example to show you uh, how we can connect Tally to any other of these applications. I would like to connect Tally. So here I'm going to look for Tally and we see that I got Tally that I can connect. There we go. So here I can click on watch new responses. So I'm going to click on here and now I need to create a webhook. So I'm going to move this this way. I'm going to click on add and here I got a list of connections. So I'm going to add a new connections and here it's going to be my Tally connection. Actually, it's going to be Cobb with Guillaume uh, connection. Okay, there we go. So I'm going to click on save and what's going to happen is going to open my tally. Okay, so I'm going to click here on accept and it's going to create the connection between the instance that I have here to make. And there we go, we've got it. And here we see that in the list, I can uh, catch the form I want to watch. I can catch the form where the webhook is going to work. So I'm going to click on book a coaching session. I'm going to click on save. And when it's going to happen, it's going to be, yeah, there we go. We've got it. All right. So now I got my tally here, my tally uh, form. And now I can click here on add an another module. And what's going to happen in here is that I can connect this um, tally here to another module of my choice. There's a lot of choice. Let's say that you would like to connect it to Discord. It's totally possible. And when you click on Discord, you've got a lot of options. Okay, so I'm going to connect it, me. I would like to connect it um, actually to Telegram, right? And on Telegram, I would like to receive a message. So I'm going to click on here. And here I got to fulfill everything about a Telegram bot. So I got to create a Telegram bot. 
Um, I'm not going to show you everything here. I'm going to create my own bot and then I'm going to show you the message I received. On the side, I got my Telegram. I'm hiding my private message and I got this channel here and I got a bot that I created which is testing tally bot we got in here. All right, so what I want to do is that this bot that I created a connection to up here is going to post a message in this list every time somebody is going to send a tally form. So what I can do is that here on Telegram bot uh, hook, I can catch exactly all the data coming from tally. The response ID, the submission ID, the respondent, the form name, and I can uh, show, for instance, the price, the currency, the email, all right? So what I can do is that I can type new submission and then I can put the variable payment email. What I'm gonna do, I'm going to go to my uh, book a coaching session. I made something simpler for this uh, test. So I'm going to put test at gmail.com. I'm going to click on submit and look at this. Here it pass, we got one and one. And here I got a new submission and I didn't catch the email. I don't know why I got to check for this, but I think here, yeah, I think here I have to get back and just put the fields from the email, but it did work. My new submission has been posted to the channel of uh, Telegram. So here my connection worked directly from Tally, thanks to Make. It worked, so now my scenario can be uh, able, triggered anytime if I click down here on on off on make. And if I come back to my form, we can see that I got a webhook with make that is down there. We saw that with Tally, we can create webhooks to catch the data coming immediately from Tally. Every time we want to take the data out of Tally, we can export the CSV or we could, by instance, for instance, create an integration with Google Sheet or a webhook that will send actually the CSV to make, to transform it as a file, for instance. Or if we want, we could also create a custom endpoint on an API to catch all events that would appear, that would be triggered, that would be submitted to my tally form.